తలనొప్పి నరాల బలహీనత మూర్చ వ్యాధి పక్షవాతం బ్రెయిన్ స్ట్రోక్ బ్రెయిన్ ట్యూమర్స్ మెడ వెన్నముక సమస్యలు పక్షవాత సమస్యలకు పరిపూర్ణ వైద్యం డాక్టర్ రావుస్ హాస్పిటల్స్ గుంటూర్ మన దేశంలో మరెక్కడా లేని ఆపరేషన్ థియేటర్ అడ్వాన్స్డ్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్ అమెరికన్ టెక్నాలజీస్ అండ్ టెక్నిక్స్ న్యూరో సమస్య ఏదైనా డాక్టర్ రావ్స్ హాస్పిటల్ గుంటూర్ రండి చిరునవ్వుతో వెళ్ళండి నైన్ జీరో వన్ డబల్ జీరో ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ ట్రిపుల్ ఫోర్ నైన్ జీరో వన్ డబల్ జీరో ఫైవ్ సెవెన్ ట్రిపుల్ ఫోర్ అ బ్రెయిన్ ట్యూమర్ ఇస్ అన్ అబ్నార్మల్ సెల్ గ్రోత్ ఇన్ యోర్ బ్రెయిన్ ఇట్ జనరలీ ఫార్మ్స్ ఇన్ యోర్ బ్రెయిన్ సెల్స్ బట్ ఇట్ కెన్ స్టార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎల్స్ వేర్ ఇన్ దెన్ స్ప్రెడ్ టు యోర్ బ్రెయిన్ టూ Eventually, the tumor grows and affects the function of surrounding brain tissues. As per our experience, you can develop different types of brain tumors. Some tumors can be cancerous, and some can be non-cancerous. It is not that all tumors grow rapidly. Some of them can grow very fast, and some of them can grow as slowly as possible. How much it will hamper your brain nervous system's functions depend on your brain tumor's growth rate and location. Many people cannot even know that they are suffering from brain tumors just because of the tumor's slow growth. It is a dire situation. As a result, in many cases, they stay away far from the proper treatment. But there is good news for people who live in Andhra Pradesh as they can have appropriate treatment within their reach from one of the best neurology hospitals in Guntur, Dr. Rose Hospital, the premier neurosurgery hospital in India, led by Dr. Rao, an eminent neurosurgeon in India. So, how can you know you are suffering from a brain tumor? There are a few symptoms by which we can identify that you have developed a brain tumor. These symptoms are as follows. Sudden headaches or changes in the pattern of your headache. You may have experienced headache previously, but it is now more frequent and severe. Nausea and vomiting without any specific reason. You may suffer from blurred vision or peripheral vision. In some instances, you may suffer from loss of sensation or movement in your arm or leg. In many cases, we have seen that patients who have brain tumors find difficulties in balancing. You may experience a problem while speaking or become confused in every situation. Sudden behavior change can be another symptom. Another symptom can be trouble hearing. You must visit the best neurosurgeon Dr. Rao in Guntur, Andhra Pradesh when facing any of these symptoms. Dr. Rao's hospital is the premier neurosurgery hospital in Andhra Pradesh, India, in Guntur. It is always better to have proper treatment without any further delay. Now that we know the symptoms of brain tumors, let us learn the causes of developing brain tumors. Why do brain tumors develop? A brain tumor develops in any part of your brain, like membranes, pituitary glands, or cranial nerves. It is less common in adults and the pathogenesis is still unknown. Primary brain tumors can be classified into the followings. Meningiomas. Gliomas. Pituitary adenomas. Acoustic neuromas. Medulloblastomas Craniopharyngiomas Germ cell tumors 
On the contrary, secondary brain tumors are cancerous cell growth. It can start from any part of your body other than your brain. In many cases, we have seen that a secondary brain tumor can be the first cancer symptom. It is widespread in adult people. Now, let us see some most common types of secondary brain tumors. Malignant melanoma Colon cancer Lung cancer Breast cancer Kidney cancer Whatever the type of brain tumor you are suffering from, the diagnosis of the same is mandatory. So, how does the diagnosis go? The best neurosurgeon in Guntur will recommend a bundle of tests after checking your situation. Neurological Examination A neurological test may incorporate, in addition to other things, checking your vision, hearing, balance, coordination, strength, and reflexes. Trouble in at least one zones may give hints about the peace of your mind that a cerebrum tumor could influence. Image Testing MRI usually is used to help analyze mind tumors. Now and again, the color might be infused through a vein in your arm during your MRI study. Some of the time, other imaging tests are suggested, including modernized tomography CT. Positron outflow tomography PET, might be utilized for mind imaging. However, it is not as helpful for taking pictures of cerebrum malignancy, all things considered, for different diseases. Biopsy. A biopsy can proceed as a component of an activity to eliminate the brain tumor, or a biopsy can be performed utilizing a needle. After a proper diagnosis, our neurosurgeon will provide you with the necessary treatment. The treatment may include Surgery Radiation therapy Radio surgery, focused radiation given in a single dose. Treatment with proper medicines. Rehabilitation after the treatment.